Hi LEGO fans, we finally reached the end of the 2019 LEGO Brickhead Seasonal Specials. And this time, it's Christmas! If you've been following my channel all year, you'll have already seen my reviews of the 40349 Valentine's Puppy, 40350 Easter Chick, 40360 Halloween Ghost, and the 40352 Thanksgiving Scarecrow. Personally, that is my favourite one so far, but today I'm going to be unboxing, tandem speed building, and reviewing set number 40353, Elf, Elfie and Reindeer from LEGO Brickheads. LEGO has been teasing these three characters on the side of the box ever since the Valentine's Puppy came out. The only thing we didn't know was how these were going to be put together. I suspected that the Reindeer was going to be a single set, and then we'd get a twin pack with Elf and Elfie. This 281 piece triple pack includes a pair of elves who are imaginatively named Elf and Elfie. We also have a reindeer who appears not to be Rudolph, and a sign directing us from the North Pole to both Legoland and a place called Brick. We'll talk about those a little bit later. While we're in the Christmas spirit, I'm also going to be reuniting these guys with Mr and Mrs Claus from 2018. We'll also take a look at the 40262 Christmas train ride and 40263 Christmas Town Square from 2017. And because buying new LEGO to review is really expensive, I'm also going to break out the 4025 Little Elf Helpers and 40206 LEGO Santa from 2016. Yes folks, we are going for Christmas overload today. On the side of the box we get a gentle reminder of all of the 2019 LEGO seasonal brickheads. I'm not sure why number 84 the Thanksgiving Scarecrow is missing. Maybe LEGO thought that people outside of North America wouldn't be interested. On the top of the box we have a life-size image of a LEGO element and a useful reminder that everything sounds cooler in French and Spanish. Over on the back of the box we get confirmation of the display configuration. Reindeer stands on one of the extra wide display base plates. This includes the North Pole sign and it looks like LEGO is finally going to break the no stickers in brickheads rule. Damn you LEGO! Also included is an adorable little mailbox. I'm hoping that picture of Santa isn't going to be a sticker. Elf and Elfie are both smaller format brickheads builds and come on their own display base plates. The dream team that is me and Mrs H is going to attempt a tandem build today. That means we're going to try and build all three characters at the same time. It should keep things moving along a little quicker. But before we do that, let's open up the box and see what we've got inside. Here's everything that came inside the box. There's a 47 page instruction booklet for the reindeer and a 47 page instruction booklet for Elf and Elfie. We also have two numbered bags of Lego. And my worst fears are confirmed, we have a sticker sheet inside a brickhead set. Why Lego, why? Mrs H and I are going to work together and today this is going to be a 30 second tandem speed build. And here are the completed Elf, Elfie and Reindeer. Build time was around 19 minutes, but of course we did a tandem build and cheated. Can you guess which two Mrs H built? My eyes! My eyes! That's much better. She's going to kill me, but it's totally worth it. So after the relative surprise of this year's twin pack being a triple pack, I'm actually quite pleased with this festive build. I'm not so pleased about the stickers, but we'll talk about those later. We're going to start out by taking a close up look at Elf and Elfie. Then we'll take a look at this rather splendid reindeer. And finally we'll take a little time to compare this year's seasonal special to the ones we got in 2018, 2017 and even 2016. Just like Father Christmas we've got a lot of ground to cover so let's get on with it. As you might have noticed Elf and Elfie are a lot smaller than your average brickheads. Typically we see this smaller sized format in a Brickhead's twin pack that includes a standard sized Brickhead and a smaller sidekick. Rocket and Groot is a great example, as is Luke and Yoda. 
Being of elfish stature, they stand between two and a half and three and a quarter inches tall. And being brickheads, they stand on these eight by eight base plates. Both elves are dressed in festive colours with coordinating red, green and white outfits. Elf on the left is wearing red and white tights, whilst Elfie on the right is wearing green and white. They both have festive tunics decorated with gold buttons. The faces are a pretty standard Brickheads affair with those soulless Brickheads eyes. It's tempting to try and apply gender stereotypes, especially when there's one called Elf and one called Elfie. You might logically surmise that this is going to be a girl elf called Elfie. And by similar logic, this must be the boy elf. In fact, the one on the left with long hair is Elf, and the one on the right with short hair is Elfie. For all I know, they could both be boy elves, or girl elves, or maybe elves don't have genders. In any case, these guys are pretty cute. From the side profile, you can see more of that red and green festive theming. And you'll notice they both have the typical Brickheads clips for hands, but no accessories. Elfie's wearing a very festive but shiny red and green hat with a pom-pom. The dark red stuff around the sides is presumably hair. I guess it could be some kind of hat, but I'm going to go with the hair hypothesis. It's certainly an interesting design with the small plates at each side, and the way the hair gains volume as it flows down the side of the head. Elfie on the other hand, or the other head, is wearing a more traditional Christmas hat. It hangs down over the left hand side of the face, keeping Elfie's ear warm. Around the other side, Elfie's ear is exposed and you can see more of the hair. It's fairly short, but looks really neat. The hair around the back of the head is just made out of 1x3 tiles, but I really love the detail on this hat. We have several curves and tiles to give it some really nice texture. The top of the hat is made of corner roofing tiles, and I think the only thing we're missing here is a pom-pom. No elaborate detail around the back of these builds, but we do have some nice contrasting red and green colours. For such relatively small builds, Elf and Elfie, or Elfie and Elf as you see them here, are really charming little brickheads. But these guys are only half of the package. Let's take a look at that reindeer. Uh oh, looks like we've got an imposter. I'm sorry about that, I don't know how Rudolph snuck into the studio. But anyway, this is Brickheads number 85, the reindeer. He's a full-size Brickheads character just like Mr and Mrs Claus from 2018. These guys look great together. I'm guessing the image rights to Rudolph the Reindeer may be protected, and that's why we've got this generic guy with a black nose. In any case, he looks great! He stands on one of these 8x8 Brickheads base plates, but we do have some additional decoration. Over to the Reindeer's right, we do have this decorated mailbox with a picture of the big red guy. In a break with Brickheads tradition, that is a stickered piece. You'll find another one just like it around the other side. On top we have an icicle thanks to this 1x1 modified stud, and there's a transparent door which opens up to reveal a couple of printed letter tiles. I can't exactly read the writing, but I'm sure they're addressed to Father Christmas at the North Pole. We'd better put them back before he finds out. On the reindeer's left hand side we have possibly the world's most useless lamppost. This confirms that we are at the North Pole. It's 2,356 miles to Legoland, and that's presumably the one in Billund, Denmark. And if Legoland really isn't your thing, you can take the 3,451 mile journey to Brick. Given that Legoland is that way, and Brick is that way, and using my immense knowledge of the world, I'm guessing this refers to the township of Brick in New Jersey, United States. That's not too far from where I live, and the mileage seems about right. But what if I'm one of those crazy European people, or even worse, a Canadian who uses kilometres instead of miles? I am joking, I love all of you guys! But seriously, if miles are not your thing, we do have alternative stickers with the kilometre translations. Other than being covered in stickers, the signpost is this rather nice red and white colour. It even looks like a pole, especially with that big red knob at the end. Just to add to the winter theming, we do also have some snow and ice scattered around the reindeer's feet. The reindeer's feet are made out of 1x2 black tiles, and we also have white and brown versions for the legs. The body of the reindeer is really nicely done, and includes a white chest. This is picked out using two pieces, we've got a brown arched piece, and then a white curved piece which locks underneath. Brickhead's faces usually lack character, but this one is actually pretty good. We do of course have the soulless Brickhead's eyes, but then the snout protrudes giving it a 3D look. And we have this cool beard-like growth beneath. On each side of the head we have a pair of neatly constructed ears, and then the crowning glory, this grand pair of antlers. 
They are a little bit awkward to align because the bricks are mounted at angles, but the end result is undeniably impressive. The side profile is neat, but otherwise unimaginative. We do of course have brickheads clips for hands, but it's when you get around the back that you see possibly the cutest feature of the reindeer. We have this adorable tail which is attached to a jumper plate. Okay, so a reindeer might not be the most instantly recognisable symbol of Christmas, but when you introduce Elf, and you introduce Elfie, you have a fantastically festive themed thruple of brickheads. So how does the 40353 Reindeer, Elf and Elfie triple pack compare to the 40274 Mr and Mrs Claus double pack from 2018? Reindeer, Elf and Elfie is a 281 piece triple pack which retails for a penny under $20. Mr and Mrs Claus are the same price but actually come with 341 pieces. So on part count alone, Mr and Mrs Claus are very strong contenders. Even though we're getting three brickheads in 2019, the sum of parts doesn't stack up. Also this one has Father Christmas which just about trumps everything. To be fair on the argument about part count, the 2018 set does contain a lot of small pieces. But these are awesome pieces, just take a look at those cookies and muffins. We even have a stack of presents for Santa Claus, and a Christmas tree made up of many cheese slopes. When it comes to the Christmas 2018 and 2019 brickheads, I prefer not to compare. I think when you put these sets together, the sum of the parts becomes irrelevant. As a festive collection, these are absolutely fantastic. After all that, I'm feeling super festive and I don't want this video to end. So let's wind the clock back to 2016 and take a look at those seasonal specials. 40205 Little Elf Helpers, and 40206 The Magnificent Lego Santa. Out of the two sets, I think the Little Elf Helpers have to be my favourite. The googly-eyed elves are working in Santa's workshop, building and painting toys. They have this cool little workbench, and on the end, a range of tools. On the top is what I think is a completed toy train, but we also have paints and other materials. It looks like this little guy has a task of painting all of the toys. He or she is equipped with an artist's palette and a paintbrush. The clothing is very festive with what I assume is going to be a green and red festive dress, brightly coloured stripy stockings and pointed elf shoes. Speaking of pointy, take a look at those ears. The elf's face is an absolute picture with those goofy eyes. And then we have a shock of blonde hair topped with a red hat. The other elf is wearing a similarly festive hat and really reminds me of the Wallace and Gromit characters. The second elf is gripping a hammer for woodworking and looks to be wearing a shirt and pants combo. Like his friend, he's also wearing festive stockings and pointy shoes. With some care, both of the elves can be removed from those ornate chairs. I love the attention to detail here with all of the gold features. As LEGO Christmas seasonal specials go, this one is an absolute beauty. Although these were released at the same time and have consecutive set numbers, I've never really thought about displaying these together. But when you really think about it, the elves and Santa do seem to be at the same scale. The thing that really grabs my attention when I see Santa is that magnificent face. He's got those magnificent googly eyes, which I think I attached wonky, and then that magnificent smile with the bushy moustache and beard. He's the perfect Father Christmas, complete with that floppy red hat. Just like the elves, Father Christmas is taking the weight off. He's sitting in a plush overstuffed armchair and looks very comfortable. The costume is reminiscent of a Coca-Cola ad and features Father Christmas in his red suit. He has these blocky and rather awkward looking arms which can rotate through 360, and a black belt complete with gold belt buckle. As you'd expect, the costume is trimmed in white fur and he's wearing black boots. The only thing this Father Christmas is missing is his big sack of presents and maybe some milk and a cookie. Or as we do in England, a glass of sherry and a mince pie. Winding the clock forward to 2017, this is set number 40262 Christmas Train Ride and 40263 Christmas Town Square. Christmas Train Ride is a delightful scene picturing a little girl who wants to ride the Christmas train. One of the really nice things about the 2017 seasonals is that we get minifigures. Here you can see we've got a train driver and an adorable little girl. She's clutching a golden ticket that she bought at the ticket booth. There's a recurring festive theme with red and green wreaths and a really nice red and white canopy. With ticket in hand, it's time to ride the festive miniature train. Or at least it would be if she didn't have these tiny legs and couldn't sit down. The train is a simple but charming build and the whole thing runs on skateboard wheels. 
Towed behind the miniature train, we have these two green carriages, complete with red and gold decorations. Although we only have two carriages, you could easily add more. As well as a miniature train and the ticket booth, we also have somewhere where we can warm up with a mug of hot chocolate and a cookie. There's even a barista minifigure on hand to make your favourite drink. The coffee stand includes a mug and a cookie, and these are replicated as a sign above the white and green festive canopy. We also have a small tree element on a pile of snow, somewhere for people with actual working legs to sit down, and a festive oldie worldie lamppost with somewhere to sit, a festive wreath, and a custom printed 2x2 tile to show you where you are. This is a super cute little set, but it can also be combined with the 40263 Christmas Town Square. Let's take a look at that first and then we'll put the two together. This is another cracking festively themed set that complements 40262 perfectly. The centerpiece of Christmas Town Square is this fantastic Christmas tree. The tree is colourfully decorated with baubles, and we even have a star on top thanks to this trans yellow crystal. I like to think of this minifigure as the postmaster or postmistress. She has this small sled for pulling packages and letters through the snow. And there's a working mailbox complete with a printed letter sign and illuminated by a wreath decorated lamp. The continuity of theming here is very consistent. Because minifigures do get hungry, we have this delightful baked goods stand. There are chocolate and strawberry muffins. And I love the way the designers have used this pretzel element as the sign. It really complements the red and green canopy. And finally, no winter scene would be complete without a snowman. I like to think this snowman was built by the two kids. These guys are absolutely adorable and look great in their knitted sweaters. In 2017, this set retailed for a penny under $10. Add another $10 and you can put both sets together. Separately, these are really nice sets, but put them together and you have an awesome festive scene. In fact, you get rather good value for money here, especially with these six minifigures. So that was set number 40353, Reindeer, Elf and Elfie from LEGO Brickheads. In Brickheads chronology, Reindeer was number 85, Elf was 86 and Elfie was 87. All the other Christmas themed sets were hopefully an enjoyable tangent. Reindeer, Elf and Elfie complete a fantastic collection of Christmas Brickheads. They also expand upon a Christmas tradition which I hope will continue for a long time. But I do miss those little winter village scenes complete with minifigures. I'm very curious to know whether you guys think that LEGO should carry on making brickheads or go back to the more traditional seasonal specials. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Above all, I hope you enjoyed this LEGO Brickheads unboxing, speed build and review video plus a brief history of Christmas seasonal specials. If you did, a thumbs up is always appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. Thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe and we'll see you on the next build video.